Matthew here. So I have had the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro for several weeks now, about almost a month, I guess. And so these are my thoughts, if how I like these and all that. So go ahead and just stay tuned because we've got this and we'll go over sound and all that. And I know a lot of people have been asking, well, can you compare them to the Jabra Elite 85Ts and stuff like that. So I'll just make quick references to a couple other pairs of true wireless earbuds. But this is my Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro review. First of all, I just want to say congrats to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for winning the 55th Super Bowl. Uh, congrats uh, Tom Brady for winning his 7th Super Bowl championship. So yeah. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, uh, they're $199.99. Um, they are Samsung's premium true wireless earbuds. As you know, um, the past several years, uh, Samsung has really kind of pushed into gear their true wireless earbuds with the, um, before, before this, this generation, I guess, of true wireless earbuds, they had the Gear Icon X. Uh, 2016 and 2018 versions and those were decent they weren't the best pair of true wireless earbuds the case was massive compared to cases nowadays and stuff like that but they were decent but Samsung really kind of threw everything in the gear with their Galaxy Buds that were I think $129.99 at the time they're a lot cheaper now if you want to find them on Amazon stuff like that but then they pushed that up to $159.99 with the Galaxy Buds Plus uh, which, in my opinion, sounded pretty good. Uh, they, they really took what was wrong with the Galaxy Buds and just made them better, added an extra mic for call quality, stuff like that. And then last year they had the Galaxy Buds Live, which were their, I guess, open ear ANC earbuds that looked more like a jelly bean or a bean shape rather than uh, an earbud. And it was kind of weird, but they sounded decent. Um, decent battery life they had a different style case more of a as they said a jewelry box case and then this year they came out with the Samsung Galaxy Buds uh, Pro uh, and these are $199.99 and so uh, they've slowly been creeping up into that premium earbud um, level I guess uh, they're not as expensive as let's say the um, uh, the BNO, uh, I think E8s or the Sennheiser Momentum true wireless earbuds, or even the AirPod Pros earbuds that they have true wireless earbuds, but uh, they are starting to creep up. I hope that 199 is that kind of ceiling that Samsung is going to be like, okay, this is as as expensive as we're gonna get. So um, just that's just the price of these 199. You can find them from Best Buy. You can find them on Amazon's website. So you can actually find them um, all over the place. So yeah, $199 for these, but I'll tell you why I think that price is actually pretty good. Okay, so for quick specs, um, I did more of the specs in the unboxing video, but we'll go ahead and do some quick specs on these earbuds now, just so in that way you don't have to go and watch that video. But if you do, I'll try to link, put a card or something up top here, so in that way you can go and watch that video as well. Uh, but um, these use Bluetooth 5.0, so I'm glad that they have Bluetooth 5.0. Um, they it should help with battery life should help with uh, sound quality and should help with uh, bluetooth connection via like the strength of your bluetooth connection going a longer distance than uh, you normally would with let's say bluetooth 4.0 4.1 4.2 so yeah uh, bluetooth 5.0 uh, the battery life is decent. I believe it's five hours with ANC on and eight hours with ANC off. Um, it's not bad. Uh, definitely not to the level of, let's say, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, which had 11 hours of battery. Uh, so those were crazy when it came to the battery, but they didn't have ANC or any of those kind of features. So yeah, um, five hours with ANC on, eight hours with ANC off and then I believe the case gives you an additional two to three full charges so that should be uh, 22 to 24 ish hours of battery life with the case so that's about middle of the road I think the AirPod Pros and AirPod 
uh, regular AirPods uh, kind of give that as well. Same with the uh, Google Pixel Buds, the true wireless ones, not the one with the wire and all that. So uh, it's good that they have that. The case itself is pretty, is a good size, it's decent. I'm glad that uh, Samsung moved away from their, I guess, their pill-shaped case. I always thought that the pill shape was a little, it was just bigger than it should be. Um, the, the current case, the new case, is uh, they moved this case uh, with the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, except the, the way you can tell the difference is that the Live case had kind of a shiny finish and this is more of a matte finish. So luckily uh, that should um, help with uh, fingerprint resistant because the other case was just a magnet for fingerprints. But I like that they moved to this case last year and this year versus this case because um, if you're comparing the two, the case is about the same height, maybe a little bit smaller uh, than the Galaxy Buds Plus case, but it's also not as long, I guess, as uh, the Galaxy Buds Plus case, uh, but it is a little bit wider. So just be aware, it's more of a square shape rather than a pill shape. So I really like the case on this. I like that the case is it snaps really easily into place as you can hear let's just just like that it snaps into place it's got it has that nice satisfying snap it, it is pretty open whenever um when you open it the the hinge isn't like super flimsy or anything like that which is nice it kind of flips open all the way or all the way closed there's no in between which is good because i know with with some other earbuds when when i've opened the case um it kind of you have to do a little bit of extra effort to keep it open and that leaves it open to i guess your earbuds falling out stuff like that especially with the galaxy buds the original galaxy buds uh the case was like that and it kind of made it a little bit difficult because you had to kind of either open it all the way or close it because if you didn't then the case would kind of get in your way for taking out the earbuds so i really like the case on that uh the case charges via usb c uh right here and it also charges via wirelessly so you can set it on any chi wireless charging pad and it will go ahead and charge your case so that's also nice the earbuds themselves are ipx7 water resistant so that means that if you're caught in the rain uh, rainstorm or anything like that, that you'll be fine you don't have to worry about oh shoot I need to take them out of my ears so I can um, save the earbuds uh, I, I wouldn't say go running in a tsunami or anything like that but if you get caught in the rain while running or doing any kind of activity going to the store and coming back into your car and like that your earbuds will be fine the case itself is not IPX7, so I will caution, don't just have the case out in the open whenever um, it is raining and like that, but um, overall I like that the earbuds themselves are IPX7 water resistant. When it comes to features on these, uh, the Galaxy Buds Pro definitely don't lack in features. They have your ambient mode, which was in the Galaxy Buds Live and also in the Galaxy Buds Plus. Um, and so that's good that they still have that, but they also now have ANC and not the ANC that the Galaxy Buds Live had, which those were ANC for open ear earbuds. These are just active noise canceling ANC earbuds. Uh, so these are more to compete with, let's say your AirPod Pros or your Sennheiser Momentum earbuds that have active noise cancellation, stuff like that. Um, and so I really like that this has those features. It also has features where if you put them in your ear and you start talking, it will go ahead and take turn off the ANC and it will pump in your ambient noise uh, so you can hear yourself talking while and hear uh, the person you're talking to while also kind of listening to your music. It kind of pushes the music down, I guess, and pumps in noise. Uh, so that's really nice. And then it'll automatically, after you can change in the settings, but after like five, 15 seconds, something like that, you, it will all of a sudden turn the ANC back on. So that's also nice. 
Um, I kind of turned that feature off though because I found that like let's say I'm uh, watching TV and, and I cough or something like that. It'll, it'll, it'll turn off the ANC and start like I guess pu pumping in that ambient noise which was a little weird to me. I know that Samsung says that it's adaptive and it kind of learned your way, the way you do things and so it will learn not to do that but it still was a little annoying so I turned that off uh, but others may like it if you're like running um, in a city and you jump in real quick to get a, a cup of coffee or something like that. Um, it's nice to be able to jump in, get your coffee, have a little quick conversation with the barista and your earbuds automatically turn to that talk through mode I guess and then you jump out and your earbuds will start playing your music and um, turn that ANSI back on. So uh, that's also good. In the app, the Samsung Galaxy Wear app, uh, you can change your settings to, uh, I guess, a lot of ANC, medium ANC, or low ANC. And then you can also change from uh, low ambient mode, medium ambient mode, uh, high ambient mode, and then there's also a very high ambient mode, and that's almost like it gives you extra superhuman hearing, which is a little weird, but it is what it is. Um, but overall, these um, have good features. I know with the Galaxy phones, at least with the S21 um, lineup um, and with the Android 11 update, um, you will have what's called the 3D audio um, from Qualcomm and that, that allows you, for you to hear things like if you have your phone in front of you and you move your head, you'll hear the sound from your left side or something like that or your right side. It's very similar and it, I think it's basically the, the exact same thing as Apple's spatial audio software. So it's just Qualcomm's version which I think is called 3D audio or something like that. So um, it's cool that that is there. It's not available for other Android phones yet but I believe later on Samsung is going to make it available for other an Android phones, but um, I will say there are some features like that that are Samsung specific, at least right now. So don't fret if your phone doesn't have it, especially if you have like a Galaxy S10 Plus or something like I have. I have my backup phone is a Galaxy S10 Plus and it definitely, um, I, I assume with the Android 11 update that should be coming out sometime this month in February, um, it should be coming out and it should allow for that uh, spatial audio or I guess 3D audio experience. But uh, for other phones like my Google Pixel 4, I'm not sure if it's going to come to that. But uh, be aware, if you have Samsung phones, you'll get all the features. If you have a non-Samsung phone like uh, any other Android phone, you'll get most of the features. And if you have Apple, an Apple phone, an iPhone, then you'll get some of the features. Um, so it's Samsung, Android, Apple. But that's to be expected, especially since Samsung and Apple kind of compete with each other. So that was the features on this. Uh, let's go ahead and just open this up and go on the size of these. Real quick, I'll just take these out. The size of these is really nice. I like that they're very small. I mean, I feel like they're smaller than, let's say, the Galaxy Buds Plus, um, the Galaxy Buds Live, um, and even some of like the Pixel Buds and stuff like that. Uh, it really, I don't know if it's just because of the design or anything like that, but it does feel a little bit different, a little bit smaller. They fit in my ear really well, especially with the medium ear tips that come pre-installed in the box. Um, so as you can see, I can just put them in and just like that and they're in and if you're looking at me now um, You can see that they're they don't really protrude out that much if you do have issues with your fit anything like that I would say a um, definitely change the ear tips out, but also I found I found that if you take it and you twist it in like that it fits a lot better uh, I was very hesitant at first when it came to these, especially with staying in my ear because there are no ear fins like the other um, earbuds like the Google Pixel Buds or the um, Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, um, Samsung Galaxy Buds, anything like that. But honestly, these are super comfortable and they stay in my ear really well uh, and they get create a good seal. You just got to find that good ear tip um, uh, size and from there it should do fine and then again do that little twist and it should fit perfectly at least for me some people who may have different size ears and you may have to do find a different way to do it but that's just how i felt with these 
Okay, so let's talk about sound because I know sound is probably the biggest thing that people look at for when it comes to sound on earbuds, headphones, stuff like that. I mean, why would you get a pair of earbuds, headphones that don't sound very good? Short answer is these sound great, at least in my opinion. Um, and other people, I've heard other YouTubers say they, they sound okay, they sound decent, they don't have a whole lot of bass, stuff like that. I would definitely say that if you're expecting the bass to be really good, like bass of let's say the WH-1000X M4s or M3s or anything like that, uh, uh, over the ear headphones, even on the ear headphones, then you shouldn't even be looking at a pair of true wireless earbuds because something this small cannot compete, especially bass wise, with something like this. These have an 11 millimeter woofer and a 6.5 millimeter tweeter, um, which is decent for true wireless earbuds, but something like over ear headphones, the Sony's, the Bowers and Wilkins PX7's, those have like a 42 to 43 millimeter um, speaker driver, so obviously an 11 millimeter speaker driver can't compete against a 42 and 43 millimeter speaker driver. So if you're looking for something with a ton of bass, I would definitely say don't even look at true wireless earbuds. The only ones that I would say can come even somewhat close, but not really close, would be the Sony WF 1000 XM3s. That's their true wireless earbuds, or the um, I believe the Powerbeats Pro um, earbuds. Those have some pretty good bass to, in them as well. But uh, other than that, I th I think if you're looking for something with a ton of bass, don't go for a pair of true wireless earbuds. With that out of the way, let's talk about sound on these. Uh, these sound really good in my opinion uh, because each earbud has two drivers in it, a 6.5 millimeter tweeter and 11 millimeter woofer. It allows for good, crisp, clear, uh, clean audio. The bass doesn't get muddied, um, doesn't muddy the mids and highs, treble and like that. Um, and so it, it's really good, it's really nice that um, they have two drivers. It's always good to have, the more drivers you have, the better an earbud tends to sound because if you're, say you're looking at a car speaker, uh, if you notice, uh, most car speakers have two speakers in them or two drivers in them. You have your woofer cone, but either inside the woofer cone or a separate cone itself, you have a tweeter. And that's because it's hard to have clean, clear audio um, that also has good bass if you're pushing everything out of one cone or one driver, which tends to happen with a bunch of true wireless earbuds. Um, even non-true wireless earbuds like over-the-ear headphones and stuff like that, it tends to happen where the bass muddies the mids and highs or you get mids and highs that are nice and clear but you don't get a whole lot of bass. So it's nice that there are two speaker drivers in each earbud, a woofer and a tweeter. Sound-wise, they sound really good. You can hear the vocals really well. They're very distinct. They're separated really well from the woofer. And the high end where you, you get things like your guitar strums, your cymbal hi-hats, crashes, all that, they sound really good. They sound clear, they bright. You hear the, the brightness of the hi-hats, stuff like that. So your mids are where your vocals sit. And so you tend, because of the tweeter being separate from the woofer, you tend to have good vocal separation from the low end. So these just sound really good in my opinion. I know I've had someone say, hey, will you compare them to the Jabra Elite 85Ts? I would say that when it comes to sound, these have more of a neutral sound out of the box. Uh, the 85Ts out of the box have more of a warmer sound. Of course, you can kind of change that a little bit with the EQ settings in both of the apps um, that are both available for Android and iOS, but um, I think, at least in my opinion, the the sound of these out of the box sounds a lot better. I know there's more customization in the Jabra Elite 85T app when it comes to EQs than there are with the Samsung app, because that one is more just of a pick between bass boost, dynamic, treble boost, stuff like that. But I think that these sound really good, um, honestly. Um, and for $199.99, $200, these are a great pair of earbuds, um, especially when it comes to sound. Uh, I have not been disappointed with these. 
Before this, the Google Pixel Buds right here were probably my favorite because they had decent sound. Not amazing sound, but decent sound. They had pretty good bass, but the portability of the case, the features with the Pixel phone, all that were just hands down really good. But when these came out, I tried them and honestly now, when I go to the store and like that, these are my go-to earbuds that I reach for, for anything, just walking around the street, walking around the store, uh, anything like that. I would definitely say these are good. Uh, you can take these to work out. Uh, be a little cautious because yes, these are sweat resistant, but uh, if you sweat a whole bunch, I would say these might fall out of your ears, but I know just walking around, I haven't had to really adjust the fit or push them back into my ears or anything like that. These sit pretty well in my ears and stay pretty securely in my ears. So yeah, uh, these are a great pair of true wireless earbuds in my opinion. For $199.99, Samsung has made probably the best pair of true wireless earbuds that they've made currently. So yeah. Uh, these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. I'll try to do a comparison between these and let's say the Jabra Elite 85Ts or anything else later on in the year. If you want to see a comparison between these and let's say the AirPod Pros or the Pixel Buds or even let's say the Galaxy Buds Plus, the Galaxy Buds Live, maybe even the 85Ts, write in the comment what comparison you want and I'll try to make a comparison between uh, these and one of those pair of true wireless earbuds later on down the road after I do um, some other videos and and all that but anyways thank you guys for watching this has been my Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro review uh, if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video until then everyone stay safe peace